just about the last thing I want to do right now is go back outside, but it is raining and it's going to rain the next couple days. And this is all the wood I have. So I'm going to go grab some wood and put it under the fire lookout and hopefully get some of it to start drying off before I settle in. because I started a fire, now you can see my breath, but I'm gonna try to see how warm I can get it in here. I'm thinking 55 to 60 would be nice. I wanted something nice and dry when I got here. It was like Christmas. That right there is actually a stunning view of Mount Hood. Um, I've never seen it, but I've seen pictures, and there is a mountain there, apparently. Since I'm staying here for a couple days, I think the last morning I'm here, it's supposed to clear up. It was a long hike to get up here. Well, so it's not that long. Okay, so there's two ways to get here. Basically, you can take a longer trail, which gains around 3,200 feet elevation in four miles, or you can take a shorter trail that's only like a mile and a half, gains I think like 800 feet, but the road to get to that trailhead is 10 miles of just pure terribleness. So I don't go that way, I go the longer route, but it rained the whole hike and I was carrying a lot of extra weight because I'm going to be up here for a couple days and I brought some luxuries. So it was an experience, but with fire lookouts like this, so this is a first come first serve fire lookout. That doesn't mean you're going to get it to yourself. Last time I was here, nine guys showed up and we all camped together. So it doesn't necessarily mean it's different though because sometimes you show up and someone's there and they turn you away sometimes you show up and someone's there and they welcome you and then sometimes you show up and you get it by yourself the highest likelihood of getting it by yourself is going in bad weather which is what i did it's it's 75 degrees in here i think i'm gonna let the fire die a little bit because 75 it's summer so it's kind of a tradition or an unspoken rule of fire lookouts like this that are maintained by volunteers and the public and everything like that is that you bring up things and leave behind as an offering. Well, first of all, you clean them and leave them better than you found them when you leave. But, you know, people will bring up, someone left a guitar. It's missing a string, I checked, but there is a guitar. Uh, a Bluetooth speaker. There's actually another Bluetooth speaker too. A book. People bring up pots, pans, there's propane and everything like that. So you kind of bring something up. And I, I brought a puzzle. Those were a lot heavier. <laughs> than I thought they would be. Wow. Whew, all that for a little more light. This is not my sleeping bag, so I'm still gonna put my sleeping pad down just for a layer of protection. 
I don't know who slept on this. Well, I know three people who have slept on this bed, but. I did bring up something else to leave here that I'm very excited about. Uh, I'll show you guys when it gets dark. I hope it looks as good as I think it's gonna. <laughs> I put up lights! It looks so good! This is my secret trick for hot chocolate when I'm backpacking is I bring creamers and I add a couple creamers to it with the water because just the water, it just never tastes good, but I don't want to bring milk. And these don't have to be refrigerated, so kind of a win-win. It's October 10th when I'm filming this right now which is John Prine's birthday, and if he'd been alive, he would have been 77. It's gonna be a long Monday. Sitting all alone on a mountain by a river that has no wind. Did I get to heaven? I'm, I'm gonna shake God's hand. hand. Thank you for more blessings than one man can stand. Remember every tree, every single blade of grass was a special place for me. And then I'm gonna get a cocktail, vodka and ginger ale. Yeah, I'm gonna smoke a cigarette that's nine miles long. Bit of bedtime reading, shall we? Ho ho! It's a very soft bed. It, it's like 8 o'clock. That was very comfortable. I had to get up a few times in the night to put wood on the fire, but I could live here. Let me make my bed. Bed is made. Wow. All right, so we have a bit of a mission. This is all the water I currently have, but according to everything I've read, there is a spring. So we're going to go try to find water that I can filter so I can have coffee and drink the water, of course. <laughs> I cannot find this. I mean, I would, this calling this a, a trail is generous. I mean, it's really just walking down a cliff. So I'm giving up. I do have a backup plan, uh, but this sucks. It could be dry, that's why I can't find it. It does sometimes run dry, specifically in autumn, but I figured with all the rain, it'd be flowing. Anyways, now that I'm wet and cold, I'm gonna head back. That is my backup plan. I put those out last night just to catch rainwater.
And that is why you always have a second plan. I think, honestly, I'm going to have plenty of water um, if it keeps raining all day. So, thank God for water filters and rain. <laughs> I like opened, half opened some of the windows just to get a little bit more light in here. This window is obviously uh, broken, but I do need wood. I am running out. However, I need coffee more than I need that. So breakfast time. because I just put my last log on the fire. for a while. I have more wood I could cut. I just, I need a break. <laughs> My arm hurts. <laughs> I'm gonna film because the Phillies are playing. If I'm distracted, it's baseball. Ten to two, baby. You lead the series two one. Let's go. Let's bring it home. Time to put the the things down. I just don't like sleeping with them up. And plus, when they're down, more of the heat stays in. Making a little grilled cheese. Don't know what that accent was, but here we are.
shouldn't have to leave. This is the first time I've been up here that I actually stayed long enough for the weather to be good and the mountain to come out. <laughs> it's so worth it. Oh my gosh. You know, like, you know it's there, but until you see it with your own eyes, you're like, yeah, sure, there's a mountain. There's a mountain. <laughs> As you can see, there is no more wood. I'm leaving, however, kind of common practice. Says it there, put back what you use. So, time to go spend the next couple hours cutting, finding and cutting wood. Time to start cutting. Hand sawing, it's a workout specifically for this arm. Man, wish there was a chainsaw up here, that would help. <laughs> All packed up, just one more thing to do. Gotta write in the log book. Always close those before you leave. I think I'm gonna come up here during a snowstorm. And now we have the four mile hike down, which is much easier than the four mile hike up.